Hi guys, this is a video request um, made by username Albanti. He wants to know how I make uh, cloth. So I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to make a vector layer square and I'm going to tell you what shortcut keys I'm using so you uh, can kind of follow along. Um, now I'm hitting A to add points to the square and I'm just going to make a really uh, simple grid on it. The reason I'm doing this is because uh, we're going to use bones to simulate uh, movement and uh, the more vertices you have the more realistic it looks. So, And you'll, you'll see what I mean when I finish. Oops. Just adding points, nothing fancy. Okay, now we have a grid. I'm going to put a uh, picture on there also so you can kind of see how it morphs. Um, I'll put a smiley face on there. There's a circle. Let's give him some eyes so you can kind of see what's going on. Um, I'm hitting A to add points. I'm hitting U so I can validate the line. Hits the space bar so now there's a smiley face. Now I'm going to add a bone layer. Drag my vector layer into the bone layer. Um, I'm hitting or selecting the bone layer again and hitting A so I can add bones. And I'm just kind of guesstimating. It's not going to be perfect, but um, you'll get the idea uh, of what I'm doing. Adding a row. Of, these are all connected. Now I'm hitting B, clicking on the canvas so this bone doesn't link to the next one I'm drawing. I'm going to hit A draw another set of bones, hit B, hit the canvas, or left click on the canvas, hit A again to add another row of bones, B, click the canvas, A, and I'll just do this a couple more times down this uh, image. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, not perfect, but it'll work. Okay, so now I'm going to, with the bone layer selected, I'm going to hit Command A. I'm on a Mac and um, it selects all the bones. Holding Command down, I'm going to deselect the top row because they're going to be the uh, control bones and all the rest of these are going to be dynamic. So what I'm going to do now is go to Bone Constraints, turn on Bone Dynamics for all of those bones that I have selected. I'm going to change the Torque and Spring Force and you can change them to whatever you like. It kind of, depending on what type of cloth you want it to look like. Um, and actually, I'm going to hit B, so I don't have any selected. I'm going to hit make one more bone up at the very top, and I'm going to select. Oh, let me move this over a little. It's just going to mess up my recording, but whatever. Uh, let's look at the parenting. You can see all of these bones are linked to the very top bone in their row. What I'm going to do now is hit B to select this bone, hit P to parent, and click this top one, and do the same for all these top bones, so they're all connected to one, this one big control bone at the top. Uh, B, P, B, P. Okay, so now that these are all linked, um, let's go to the timeline and uh, go to frame one so we can animate. I will put uh, use the uh, translate tool and I'm going to move the canvas over here or uh, vector image, the cloth that I want to animate over here and I can actually, since I have it linked to this bone, I can actually transform it also. So I'll do that and then move down the timeline, move it over here, move down the timeline again and move it back. You can kind of see already in the preview it's moving dynamically, so let's run the uh, animation. There you go. You can see it's really springy, so you can take some more spring out of it. It's, uh, But you get the idea. So I hope this helps, and hope you like the tutorial.